Ernest Everett Juss was an African-American biologist of the early 20th century whose research focused on sperm and egg interactions, as well as developmental biology with marine organisms. Juss's life is extraordinary and exciting, traveling around the world, attending multiple universities, and discovering many simple yet crucial insights in develop into developmental biology and sperm and egg interaction. While Juss's findings and experiments may have been simple, he was considered a genius when it came to experimental design techniques. He was very unrelenting in his adherence to protocol and his ability to model natural egg processes in vitro to perfection. Ernest Everett Just was born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1883. He attended South Carolina State University, at the time named the Colored Normal Industrial Agricultural and Mechanics College of Orangeburg. However, at the age of 16, he enrolled in Kimball Union Academy in New, in New Hampshire. By this age, both of Ernest's parents had passed away, yet he was still able to excel and graduate from Kimball Union Academy in three years. Just enrolled at Dartmouth University in 1903 and graduated in 1907 with honors in the fields of history, sociology, botany, and zoology. Just was the only African American in his graduating class at Dartmouth. After obtaining his degree, Just found it extremely hard to land a job as an African American at predominantly white universities, and so became a professor of English at Howard University and in 1909 switched to the College of Biology. Shortly thereafter, Just actually became a lab assistant to Frank R. Lilly, famous zoologist and early pioneer of embryology at the University of Chicago, one of the most prestigious universities of its time, ranking up there with Harvard and Princeton. Just did work in the Marine Biological Laboratory at the University of Chicago and focused on the habitats of breeding and marine vertebrates for the next 20 years. In 1916, Ernest received his PhD in zoology with his thesis in experimental, in, in experimental embryology at the University of Chicago, being one of the extremely few African Americans to graduate from a white university. In 1929, Just traveled to Naples, Italy to, see, to seek a place to work for he again found, in, found it difficult for many, Afri for many American universities to hire him. Over his lifetime, he wrote two books, The Basic Methods for Experimenting on Eggs and Marine Animals, and The Biology of the Cell Surface, both published in 1939. He also wrote over 70 scientific papers. In 1940, while working in Paris, Nazi soldiers invaded and, became a pris and he became a prisoner of war. He was returned to the U.S. but died in 1941 of pancreatic cancer. Just work on the fertilization of eggs and marine organisms provided sufficient evidence that the egg surface, the ectoplasm, played a vital role in fertilization and the development of the egg. In his 1912 paper, The Relation of the First Cleave Plane to the Entrance Point of the Sperm, Just demonstrated that the sperm had equal probability of entering the egg at any point on the egg surface, and that the direction of cleavage depended on the point of entry and not the predetermined cleavage plane. This work was performed with the eggs of the marine organism Nares. In four papers between 1919 and 1920, Just shed light on the direct mechanisms of egg and sperm interaction. He showed that the sperm is pulled into the egg rather than burrowing its way through. In addition, Just observed a, quote, wave of instability that moved from the entry point of the sperm to the egg. Today, embryologists know that this wave of instability is a wave of cortical granule exocytosis that forms the fertilization envelope and is associated with the blocking of further sperm entry. In 1929, when Just went to Europe, he spent his first six months experimenting with sea urchins to see how these organisms develop. He provided further support to Lilly's theory of, of, of fertilization, coined fertilizin, which stated that fertilizin, a glycoprotein, was released by the egg acting as a receptor for sperm. The molecule helped to agglutinate egg and sperm. Ernest Everett Just is a unique figure of African American history. His contributions to, to embryology and development should not be understated. He was able to persevere American racism, the death of both of his parents by age 16, and becoming a prisoner of war in 1940. His academic success and contributions to the field of biology 
while yet operating in a system of oppression set up to ensure his failure, is truly inspirational. In this sense, Ernest Everett Just becomes much more than merely a scientist.